Hello guys, today I'll be doing a very small review of the APM 2.5 um, autopilot board. Um, this is the board, it's called the Ardu Pilot. It uh, already comes in a little uh, casing. You can buy the board separately uh, unsoldered and you solder the, the pins uh, and get the case separately. But this is the already soldered board that comes um, actually um, prefabricated. Um, the Ardu Pilot is a controller that can be used for multi-copters when it uses the firmware Ardu Copter. It can also be used for uh, planes, that's the Ardu Flyer. It can also be used for vehicles, uh, cars and trucks, and that's called the Ardu Rover. And um, I also found out that it can also be used for boats. Um, I don't know what's that called, what it's called anyway, but um, it can. It's actually a very, very uh, versatile unit compared to the prices of the other um, flight controllers out there. This is a lot of bang for the buck. Um, before you use it, I uh, advise that you go. Uh, on the internet and uh, look up the wiki and if you copy this address into your browser you should be able to see the basics about the board here you can see the board a quick overview and you can see the different ports and what they are for which is very important once you're on the page, uh, first and foremost, before you install your uh, controller into your uh, vehicle, it's very important that you download and install the Mission Planner. The Mission Planner and the flight software helps you to set your board up. Note that you have the 2.5 board. This is what this review is about. You click on that and it's uh, very easy. It gives you a step by step uh, guide to how you install your mission planner onto your uh, computer. Now, as I mentioned before, this controller can be used for planes, for different types of multi rotors and uh, helicopters. It can also be used for boats, cars, uh, just to mention a few. After you've downloaded the mission planner to your computer, the next step is to install the relevant firmware. And um, what you do is you connect your Ardu Pilot with the USB uh, cord that comes with the kit directly to your computer. And then here I also got the GPS unit, so I just uh, connected it at the same time. And after that is um, connected onto your uh, computer in one of the USB ports um, you go you can actually see it going into my computer right clicking it click on properties and then you go onto the hardware manager and that's your device manager when you click on your device manager on the ports if everything is working as it should you'd have a Dunio Mega a 2560 COM port 6 make a note of the COM port that you are using because that's the COM port you'll always use with your flight controller whenever it's connected to your PC as soon as you do that and everything is recognized as it should you open your mission planner and the mission planner looks like this it's disarmed you can see the connect button there please do not click on it yet you go in and set the board rate to 115200 it's written on that uh, wiki page I showed you and then you find 
the same COM port that your hardware manager showed you in the device uh, manager uh, window and in my case it was COM port 6 so I've made it to recognize the correct port and I've set the correct board rate the next step is to install the relevant firmware and the firmware you're using depends on what you want to use a controller for in my case I want to use it for a multi-copter and I want to use it for a, particularly a tricopter that's three propellers so I go into the firmware uh, button there and when you click on the firmware button these are the options that come you can see the rover the plane and all the multi-copters and a heli I'm using a tricopter and my tricopter is this icon of course there I click on it and it asks me am I sure I want to install um, the tricopter firmware of course I do as you can see now it's installing the firmware it automatically finds it and um, sets it up for, for me transferring this firmware to my um, Ardu pilot board that's connected via the USB as soon as your firmware has finished uh, installing you'd see the word done then you go up to this uh, connect tab and click on it I've already done mine and it's connected while it connects it, you'll see the data moving uh, from your autopilot unit to your computer showing that everything is okay and as soon as that's done uh, the two uh, connect uh, um, parts will be um, joined and the word disconnect will be there when you want to disconnect um, everything to this stage uh, so far so good the firmware is installed and your computer is now connected to your Ardu pilot now just for fun I'd go up to the flight data and see what it says I click on the flight data and wow even though the unit is placed on the floor inside the house the GPS has actually located my position that's my house I'm impressed the flight controller GPS is so sensitive that even indoors it has successfully um, actually placed a lock where I am that's great I also wanted to show you that if everything is working as it should the accelerometers as I move this from side to side you can see the horizon there is responding that means my accelerometers and all the sensors are working as they should um, please note I did not connect the Ardu pilot with any LiPo or any other power source it's the USB source alone that's supplying the 5 volt uh, needed to power the unit do not connect the LiPo in this setup stage this is the APM 2.5 board you do not need a LiPo when you're setting it up in the next uh, phase of the video I'll show you how to set up um, your uh, plane or your cord or whatever you're using it for you go back to the firmware tab and um, there you can see APM setup plane and cord that was the firmware I installed it so I click on it and that's for the radio but to do this part we need to attach our um, uh, radio receiver and um, there we can set uh, and calibrate the different uh, options and that will be coming in the next video